In Excel, functions are rented as a formula, and this session looks at the various ways in which we can insert formulae. First of all, where do we find formulas? We find them under the Formulas tab. This opens up the Formulas ribbon, which gives us various options. There are around 400 functions in Excel, and fortunately they're grouped into various categories so that we can narrow down fairly quickly what we're looking for. We can use the insert function at the left or we can look under the various groupings such as financial, logical, date and time and so on. There is even a group of engineering functions. We won't be looking in detail at these functions now but you should familiarize yourself with them. There are four different ways in which you can insert a formula into Excel in a worksheet. Firstly, if we know the formula, we can type it directly into a cell. Note that when you type a formula into a cell, that you have to start with the equal sign. The equal sign is what tells Excel that what's in the cell is a formula. The second method is instead of typing directly into the cell, you can type into the formula bar. This gives you a little bit more control over your typing. Once again, remember that you have to start by typing the equal sign before you start the formula. The third way of entering a formula is to click on the Insert Function button. And that will open up a list of options. And then you can go browsing for the formula that you're looking for. And the fourth way of entering a formula is to click on one of the categories. So if you know, for example, that you want to enter a formula that involves date and time, you click on the date and time icon and that will throw up the list of formulas that are related to date and time. Excel is very flexible. For entering a formula, you can use any of these four methods and you'll achieve your purpose.